Thank you so much. Great to be with all of you at the beginning of this work week. I'm Brooke Baldwin. You're watching CNN. For months and months now, the United States has been pushing for Arab nations to lead this fight against ISIS. And now a key U.S. ally in the Middle East says, but... As of right now, the details are scarce, and there are still a lot of questions of exactly how this force would be. You're watching CNN. I'm Brooke Baldwin. Now to another potential terror threat, a large-scale attack at an American shopping mall. But even as the nation's Homeland Security chief is taking the threat uh, quite seriously, issuing this dire warning, others downplaying it a bit. In this newly released... The man accused of killing a mother of four in an act of road rage said little in court today, but before his arrest, what... First of all, on the notion of this may not be road rage after all, is that because apparently they knew each other? Certainly that's going to play into it. What made this national headlines, and I will give you all the credit for this, is the... Hey, son, do me a favor, grab your gun. We're going to go hunting for somebody who threatened me. Then throw in, do they know each other, not know each other, built in reasonable doubt, but all of a sudden this is not the national, oh wow, road rage that well, we thought it was. It wasn't just the road rage, it was the idea that someone could follow you home after a road rage incident and shoot you outside your home. That's why she's with the description also. So was this defendant the shooter? And if he was the shooter, was he justified? Right, There's so that's, of one of the, that's one of the questions. And then we had the whole thing playing out live a couple of days ago, this whole standoff. And, you know, there was an initial sub suspect description of someone who was six feet tall, and it turns out down, turns out that this this young man is five foot three. Mm -hmm. At so 100 pounds. How does that happen? Well, there were supposedly more than one person in the car. The underpinnings of a defense of simply reasonable doubt, because you can't get a so the second encounter. The whole self defense: who's the aggressor, who's not the aggressor. The misdescription. Thank God that the uh, law enforcement just doesn't know. Well, Shut your mouth. Put your case together and present your case in a courtroom. But the defendant supposedly made statements putting himself at the scene as a shooter, saying he was defending himself. If that's true, the description issue doesn't... Whether they're coming in, not coming in, we don't know. All right, Dan Shaw, Randy Zellin, thank you both very much. Appreciate both of you very, very much here thank on you. CNN. Thank coming you. up next, uh, the Oscar quality to civil rights. Uh, the stars use their acceptance speeches to, to, as one trophy winner put it, say something meaningful. It's... Joining me now, film crew. Oh, hello to both of you. Hello. We were just gabbing a commercial break. Now we'll do this for TV. I wanted to know, what did you think? Terrible. Terrible. Uh, the, po the Polish guy is still talking, by the way. Oh, my God. And Lady God. Gaga singing one more song. Love somebody in tattoos singing a nun medley, don't you? <laughs> but and, I'm just kidding. She was not funny. And he would belabor every joke. He would kind of pause and lean on the joke, and then they would pump up the laugh track. It was deadly. The earnestness was good. You like such a night for advocacy, and even beyond that, we're talk talking to the two women behind the the, the, the film that won um, the, the short doc on on uh, helping you know veterans who come home, you know, hoping they don't commit suicide. So some incredibly real issues. Talking about ALS. And there was a lot of talk about the Academy's treatment of African Americans. They were dissed in the nominations this year, and Neil Patrick Harris made some jokes about about the racism in briefcase all night, which led to a very lame uh, punchline at the end. I know, I, I cringe. Just, I've, I've interviewed her and she's as lovely as can be and she's won an Oscar and I did cringe just she a little She should fire bit. her agent. She shouldn't have been doing that last night. <laughs> I, 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 just, I do have to put in some love for Neil Blackford Harris. That opening was amazing. I, I agree. And he's a very Lady Gaga. Okay, let's get Everybody, to Gaga in a minute. But what I really wanted to talk about was the Patricia Arquette. You know, she yes. won this ama amazing role in Boyhood. Phenomenal, phenomenal movie. It goes in films over the course of 12 years, which to me is crazy risky in and of itself. They pull it off. She wins the award, and this is what she says. So to be clear, that was, so she had this acceptance speech where she read off this piece of paper, all the people that she thanked, and finally, you know, had this great message about gender pay equality, and that was her sort of having to explain it. And interestingly, you say she got a little blowback for that. She did get a little blowback. Let's, let's talk first about the big platform, which was her, her acceptance speech. She chose to take part. Her complaining, you know what, in every venue, there has to be dis equality. There's a disparity in Hollywood. Men are said to be able to open a movie and they get twice as much what the same right. woman. Meryl Streep was up there. Meryl deserves row, like, twice as much ooh. money. Yeah, but that, this, <laughs> was, this was sort of like the, bl the blunt battering ram of a message. And in the press room, you saw Patricia Arquette sort of trying to um, <laughs> get into the nuance of it. And that's where she got a lot. So that's where she got some And that's a little rewriting of history. Women have helped you, now you help us. It's a lot more complicated than that. Everything is a lot more complicated. Who's represented and how they're represented. We that's have a good to, We thing. have to go with my biggest takeaway with acceptance speech number one, J.K. Simmons. Mom, I'm calling you tonight. <laughs> I loved that message. About
about family. I called don't my, text. I called my don't mother. Don't email. I said, do not watch the Oscars. Don't waste your time. I love you, Michael, Mom. Michael, Michael, Michael. I love my mom, too. I know. Love you, Mom. Okay, Rachel and Michael, thank you very much. Got to go. Moving along, though, all week long, we've been previewing this new Austin uh, film. It takes a look at a fascinating new insights into the history of Jesus separating fact, faith, and forgery. Here's a look. In today's Human Factor, on the show Army Wives, Wendy Davis plays a determined character who never gives up. The same could be said about uh, the actress herself, who struggled and risen above a disorder that affects millions of Americans. Here is Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Sanjay Gupta, thank you, and thank you so much for being with me. Um, I will not be back tomorrow. I'm off for two weeks to go climb a bit of a mountain. I'll see you when I'm back. The lead with Jake Tapper starts now.